at some point, I'm just trying to figure out why are these fans continuing to harass these people? Like, wrestlers are regular people too. They're just famous. And I think at some point, you're gonna have to just respect their privacy because if not, then there will be consequences. So, in an interview on Busted Open Radio, The Undertaker called out those fans who harass wrestlers at airports. If I'm by myself traveling, minus my family, I try to be as accommodating as I possibly can to my fans as part of it. I have never ever considered those people to be fans. They're trying to make a buck. It drives me absolutely crazy. I saw something online where Rhea Ripley gets caught at a check-in counter and this guy is just handing her picture after picture after picture after picture. I'm talking, I mean, I'm talking to Rhea through the thing that I'm watching and I'm like, just turn around. That pisses me off. I will personally never understand why fans feel the need to bother wrestlers at airports. There's a time and place to be a fan. The rest, I mean, these wrestlers have lives too. And they should have as much privacy as the next person. I'm sorry if I'm stumbling through this because I just got finished cutting the grass. It's yeah, my energy is so out of it, but I'm trying my best to get through it, y'all. But getting back on topic, I think I agree what Mark Calloway is coming from. And I personally think that as a wrestler, you have to respect their privacy. But it just seems like they don't want to do that. And they don't even know what privacy and mind your business means. They just think that since you're famous, they can just run up on you and you just sign their autographs so they can sell it on eBay just to make some quick cash. Like, come on, bro. You're not a fan because if you are really a fan, you wouldn't be doing that. Like, I saw one comment on Facebook that was talking about the dude's mom when she worked at a stadium after the Ravens won the Super Bowl and one of the quarterbacks was shopping at some gift shop and she went and said hi and she just minded her business and he said hi to her back like here's the thing you don't have to be friends with celebrities all you gotta do is just say hi what's up and just move on with your life like if you want a picture good but if you try to call yourself trying to call these people try to be friends with them no don't do that like there, there are certain boundaries that you just cannot cross, especially if you're just a fan. These wrestlers are celebrities and they are famous, but they have lives too. They're regular people just like you and me, but at the same time, if you try to invade their privacy, their space, there's a problem with it. And so I personally agree with what Mark Holloway is coming from because if you're not going to respect their space, then you might as well be in jail because I don't like when people do this at all. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I am all for being a fan of these wrestlers, but it's the fact that you go and continue to harass them like that just to sign an autograph and sell it on eBay and sell it on Instagram just to make money off of it. I'm sorry, but I don't like that at all. You know, and at the end of the day, these fans are not fans, you know, and I kind of feel bad for the wrestlers who have to deal with that. I mean, it's part of the business, you know what I'm saying? The only thing you can do is just try to, like, somewhat get used to it, but you have to remind the fans that, hey, look, I'm, listen, I'm a human being just like you, but at the same time, if you're not going to respect my privacy, then it's going to be an issue. So I 100% agree with what Undertaker is saying. So at the end of the day, certain fans just don't need to be taking pictures with wrestlers if you're not gonna just respect their space. So yeah, I'm out of here, y'all.